this is episode one which is as simple as having an extra fourth dimension into the game uh, you need the data packs folder open from uh, open world folder right here into the world that you want and then you go to miso.github.io just click on world gen and then click on dimension you're gonna enter into this area now you, you might be wondering what's going on now that we're here all we need to do is click right here and new project call it whatever you want i'm just gonna call it dimensions um rather hell dimension and then i'm just gonna call it dimensions so what are we looking at here is where all the files are gonna be at and this is the main file that we're working on along with a visual and the code itself you do not want the code itself i don't want the code itself at least you might want it for some reason i'm just you can also copy and download the code as a single file i don't use it so i just hide it now the visual right here might seem very boring and uninteresting just for demonstration purposes only for this video we're not gonna be uh, messing with biome distribution but just so you get an idea what this does it gives you like you can see the biome right here it gives you information on where each biome will be based on this file that we're gonna look at in a second for example you can see soul sand valley crimson forest and warped forest and so on and you can also do that with the end is basically the end island with a thousand block radius of nothingness and then you you see the islands after that you can also look at the overworld basically this is how the overworld looks you can zoom out as well it takes a while for it to load sometimes you can see a desert here badlands savanna and then look world motion but we don't want an already existing world so we're just gonna click on the three dots here and create an empty file uh the biome source is called fixed we will only have one biome being planes or whatever else we want so we can just create a desert biome so as you can see it changed color dimension type we're gonna we're gonna stick with overworld generator we we'll, keep it default for now and then we can set up the generation of the dimension itself of course we we can create our own but for the sake of this video we're just gonna leave it as is and we're gonna be using let's say floating islands so we're gonna create floating islands with a desert biome and then what we do is we come here and save us let's just call it hell of course hell won't have floating islands and it won't be just a desert but for this video we're just gonna stick with that now i go ahead and download the data pack then once i i have successfully installed the data pack you will see this error right here i know what i'm doing if you have successfully enabled the data pack you can see it by just doing data pack list and you should be able to see it right here in the enabled section and then what you do is execute in as you can see there is now a, a new field called dimensions hell run and then you teleport let's just say 100 and then we're gonna be in the new dimension wow i gotta admit i was not expecting this i was expecting it to be a lot more boring obviously these are floating islands and it's desert everywhere there's the desert structures and the desert mob generation now of course you can set this to any biome you want before you make any changes into your dimension dimensions are not uh, simple additions into the game so you have to actually save and quit from the world then come here and let's just say instead i don't want desert i want it to be a jungle biome so i'm gonna go ahead and download the data pack go back into the world now you you, you don't see any changes right you if i press f3 we're still in a desert biome of course you won't see any differences because we are still in the previously generated chunks so what we have to do is keep generating chunks up until we find a new area that we have not generated before and this will be the result a jungle biome meeting a desert biome 
as you have floating islands. More or less, this is how I made Heaven Dimension. People think that I've made something magical that they, like I cannot create. Quite the opposite, in fact. I All I did, well, back in the day, I didn't have these tools, but right now, all you need to do is just create a dimension file and just set up random things until something works. And if you have an error, you might also get this message right here. So it's not the end of the world. You just have to have to usually fill something in or it has to be the correct way. Everything, if you need any documentation, you can find the wiki, just click here. You go into the dimension folder and then it tells you a bunch of stuff that you, are, you should be interested in. But we are using a lot of references onto vanilla files. What if I want a different type of generation? What if I want a different dimension type? This is the second part of the video where I will show you what dimension type is. I'm not gonna go over it too much, just show you the basics and how to understand what is what it's saying. So you just follow the reference by clicking this and then you end up right here. There are four dimension types. There's overworld, overworld caves, the end and the nether. What dimension type does is it basically sets up some settings, if you will of how the dimension should behave. For example, the ultra warm field right here tells you whether or not water will evaporate if you right click with a water bucket into the dimension, which as you might know already in the nether, this is what's going on. There's a bunch of other fields. I'm not gonna go over them. And if you wanna know what each field does, you just simply hover over it and you can read yourself and understand yourself. You can, of course, always mess around with true or false and see what it does. But in worst case scenario, you can click on the wiki and see the dimension type. And it explains in detail every single setting right here. Now we'll only cover the basics. Start by setting up a dimension size. Keep in mind, this has nothing to do with the world generation itself. It has to do with how the game should view this dimension as. For the hell dimension, I'm gonna have from 0 to 256. Also, I'm gonna change the preset to the nether because it's far closer to the hell than uh, the overworld. Gonna go ahead and save it as. And then I'm gonna come here. And remember when I said the, when I created a new project, the default namespace was dimensions. So I have to come here, dimensions, and then I'm just gonna put hell. So now the dimension type will refer to this one rather than the overworld. So what it, it means is the ultra warm variant will be true. So water will evaporate. And let's install this data pack. Keep in mind, I changed the biome to cherry grove. Remember every time you have to click off the world and then you have to get back in. You might be wondering why, why is everything dark? Even if I, switch off my shaders everything looks kind of dark that's because in the settings right here we have has skylight we set it as false which sort of makes sense for the for the nether and i think it will also make a lot of sense for the hell dimension as well now i'm just gonna fly a little bit further away up until we generate the new chunks with the cherry grove if we press f3 check for somewhere where it says dimension and it should say the namespace that you set and the name of the dimension dimension that you set. So dimensions help. In the next video, we're gonna cover the generation settings and how to create our own file here. Yeah, this was episode one. Expect episode two to drop soon. Subscribe if you and get notified for the next video and like if you wanna see more of these types of videos.